So unless you guys have been living under a rock, you will know that a week and a half ago, two weeks ago now, Cyberpunk 2077 dropped for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and PC. And to say the launch came with some problems would be a bit of an, um, eh, eh, let's just say a little bit of a, uh, an understatement. So uh, let's talk about that. Now, it's, it's, it's no secret to anybody who has been around the video game industry for a long time that games that have very long development times, games that get delayed quite a lot, games that seem to be hidden under a rug and the developer doesn't want to show full previews and, and hides certain versions of the game from reviewers, usually that's not a good sign. But CD Projekt Red is a studio that had a lot of respect. They made great games such as The Witcher 3, which is out on pretty much every console now. It's an utterly fantastic game. So there's a lot of uh, preemptive judgment that people don't cast upon companies like this. Th that kind of judgment is usually saved for EA, usually saved for Nintendo at times like I gave a couple weeks ago, not CD Projekt Red. But that goodwill ends very quickly, and it seems to have for this company now and the executives of this company. It's a little amazing that in a video game which portrays a world completely dominated by corrupt corporations with no contempt for human beings, the studio that makes it uh, pushes their development team under crunch, crunched hours and doesn't give them a lot of time off and rushes out a game that isn't ready. Kind of funny. This game has a lot of problems. This game has a lot of bugs. I actually bought this game on launch night for PC. And after playing about two hours of it, I thought it was a really interesting game. I thought it sounded and played really well. I was really intrigued by it. It ran very well on my computer. There were glitches and there were some bugs, but that's to be expected with almost any game. I mean, one of the greatest games of all time, which is Skyrim, to this day is littered with bugs, but it's almost seen as a feature at this point. It's seen as the charm of the game. So bugs happen. But on other versions of this game, for other consoles, this was a disastrous launch. On PS4 and Xbox One, the old current gen, now old gen consoles, which this game was originally slated to come out in when it was originally announced in 2012, runs like dog shit. And you're going to be seeing footage of that awful game throughout this video. We're going to highlight the PS4 and Xbox One grand performance of Cyberpunk 2077 for your viewing pleasure so you can watch it here on this video. Cyberpunk has a lot of explaining to do. CD Projekt Red has a lot of explaining to do. This launch has probably been one of the most disastrous launches in the recent history of video games. This game got delayed so many times. It got delayed countless times. It makes you think, why couldn't this game just have been delayed again? Why couldn't this game just have been delayed to February or March? CD Projekt Red has already come out with a statement saying there's going to be two major patches that they think will fix a lot of these issues in January and then in February. Well, if you think you have a timeline for fixing these issues and you knew that these issues existed in the game, why didn't you just wait until then to launch the game? Except, oh, wait, the only reason they, wait, they didn't wait to launch the game is because they needed to get it in that magical December Christmas holiday season window when they could push up their profits and sell more copies. That's what this company wanted to do. That's the only reason that this company wanted to push this game out now. It's the only reason that this company made a conscious decision to only show footage of this game from the highest spec PCs and from next gen consoles. They went out of their way to hide the fact that Cyberpunk 2077 is not equipped to run on the PS4 and the Xbox Series X, yet at the si Xbox One. But at the same exact time, they sold copies of this to consumers without the consumers even knowing how the game was going to perform. They lied about the quality of this game. They cheated millions of people out of their money, out of their $65 when taxes are all put into effect, at least in the United States. Their $59.99 triple-A game that barely runs at 20 frames per second 
on the current gen consoles, the consoles that 90% of consumers today own because nobody can find a PS5 and an Xbox Series X. They're sold out everywhere. You can't buy them even if you tried. But they didn't show any footage of that. And when, review, when it came time for reviewers to get their hands on this game and to play through it, give their thoughts to consumers, all the major outlets, YouTubers as well, they decided to limit what could be shown. They decided to limit what console and what system this game could be reviewed on because they knew that they were selling you a broken game. They knew that they were selling you a game that not only had bugs, not only had glitches, it didn't have glitches that could easily be fixed on a day one launch patch, which so many companies like to sell to people when reviews come out. They're like, oh, don't read the reviews. Just wait for the patch. The game's going to perform well. This game ran so poorly on current gen consoles that PlayStation, that Sony took the game off their digital store. For consoles right now, the digital version of this game is an Xbox exclusive. That's how ridiculous this is. And both companies and Steam, because Steam has been a little bit better with refunds, Xbox and Sony are offering full refunds with extended times to do it because of how bad this game is. When do we ever see companies go out of their way to lose the profits that they've already made on a sale? It's, it is historically incredibly difficult uh, from Sony's perspective to get a refund. You need to jump through a lot of hoops to get your money back from this company. And they have straight up pulled it from their store because it is that bad. It runs that poorly. A lot of review sites gave the next-gen version, the PC version of Cyberpunk, 9 out of 10s, 8 out of 10s, 10 out of 10s. The version for current-gen consoles, 4s, 3s. This game is a disaster, and CD Projekt Red intentionally tried to hide the performance of this game from reviewers, from customers, from the media as a whole. And everybody just went along with it because, oh, it's CD Projekt Red. They make really good games. They would never, they would never hurt their customers. They would never try to just get a pretty penny out of their, their, their base of followers. They would never force their employees to work ridiculous hours and work in crunch conditions that should never be accepted in the gaming industry today, should never be accepted in any work environment today, because generally speaking, it's not good for the people working, it's not good for the employees, it's usually not good for the product of a game. But no, we're going to just go along with it, because CD Projekt Red made really good games in the past. Well, you don't get that goodwill anymore. This was a disastrous launch, and listen... Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I bought Cyberpunk for PC. It's a good game, I think, under all of these problems, but I returned the game. I said to Steam, I want my money back. They refunded me the next day. I don't want CD Projekt Red and Steam because they get a cut. I don't want them to have the, my money. They don't deserve your money for this game right now. In eight months, when all the issues are fixed, when maybe this game should have launched, Maybe they get your money. Maybe you want to enjoy their game. But the only way any of these companies, and this is Nintendo, this is EA, Sony, Microsoft, Xbox, that's the same thing, but who cares? The only way any of these companies ever change is one, public pressure, and two, putting your money where your mouth is. Don't buy a broken game. This is to consumers. I understand that the company is responsible. I understand that they should not be selling you a false narrative, a false product like they did with Cyberpunk. But don't give them your money because like we've seen with any game franchise and any company that gets criticized, if they do big sales, they made a profit on day one, according to some reports. If you want to see a substantive change in an industry, in an environment that you operate in, whether it's a work environment, whether it's an interest, a, a, fr a TV franchise, a movie franchise, a video game franchise, a video game company, if you ever want to see change in those, stop buying their product. If you bought Cyberpunk, I genuinely think we should all return this game because the way that they bent over backwards to hide the crap that is in this game right now from consumers is it, it's it's so dirty. It It's just, it's unbelievable that in this year of 2020, even though it's pretty fitting, that this game that is all about, as I mentioned before, exploitation of people, uh, getting around the law, getting around public expectations, uh, acting as a corrupt entity. It's amazing that CD Projekt Red is showing a lot of those same qualities. 
That's all I've got for you today. I just felt the need to rant about this a little bit because I think this launch has been a disaster. But if you disagree, I'd love to know what you think. Have you got Cyberpunk 2077? Are you playing it? Did you get it on those uh, current gen systems? And if so, what do you think? With that being said, we'll be back later this week for another video. Hope you all enjoyed. Peace out.